the fairy's request, Impa had fought her way to the summit of Death Mountain to rescue Princess Rudo. There, she subdued the Goron chieftain, Darunia, who had temporarily lost his senses. Upon freeing Princess Rudo, however, Impa was shocked to learn the reason for the conflict between the Zora and Goron people. The ancient water temple was teeming with monsters that poured from the Gate of Souls. What's more, the monsters were apparently led by Princess Zelda herself. Hoping to make sense of this disturbing revelation, Impa and her newfound allies journeyed to Lake Hylia. When they arrived, they were greeted by a Zelda seemingly consumed by evil. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, this is Advanced Logic, and welcome back to Let's Play Hyrule Warriors. So here we are at the Water Temple, and if you guys see, the map right there is a little blocked off. It's kind of like with Twilight Princess, where we had to, like, figure out something, but anyway. All we have to do is defeat Zelda, and we just gotta make sure Darunia and uh, Ruto don't run away. But anyway, let's get started. Invaders, someone destroy them for me. <laughs> Princess Zelda, no, she would never attack us of her own free will. Or would she? Let's take care of these enemies first, then we can smash the rest from the north. Also, uh, I already jumped from the frozen waterfall cliff and attacked from the rear, so uh, you're a little behind. Just a little bit. And Zelda's force has lost morale because of a surprise attack from us. And Rudo's in trouble already, so... crap. Whatever, man, I'm still kicking the mask with Sheik here. I can't really remember, but I don't think we've ever had a freaking, uh... chapter where we play as, like, anyone else. So, yeah, right now I'm playing as Sheik. Usually I've just been playing as Link or freaking Impa or someone else. I mean, the last chapter we played as Impa, so... It's kind of a good change of pace that I'm playing as Sheik right now. Also, I'm letting you guys know right now I'm recording this post-commentary because... I recorded this live before, and I was doing... Well, you guys are gonna see, I actually do pretty damn decently in this run. But I was stuttering to hell and back when I was first recording this. And I mean, like... I mean, I recorded Hyrule Warriors before I started recording, like, uh this week's related Tales of Exilia parts, and I was just stuttering way more in this than I was in Tales of Exilia. I mean like unbelievably so, it's just like you can barely even make out what I say. But anyway, that's enough about me talking about myself from the past, let's just kick these guys asses honestly. And of course we just have to save Princess Rudo, and all you really have to do is defeat those Lizalfos that are kicking her ass. Of course, you could kick the other moves asses if you want. Get that KO counter up, you know what I mean? The only way into the water temple requires we open the floodgates. Let's hurry! So, we just gotta escort Rudo to the lakeside keep. And she's just gonna escort herself right there. And we're just gonna kill all 84 of these guys. That is freaking awesome. Honestly, Sheik's freaking... It's powerful as fuck. Rather, it attacks a wide range of mooks. You could easily rack up the KO counter like that. <laughs> and of course, uh, Zelda, in quote marks, is talking down to the Hy Hyrulean soldiers, so uh, we're losing morale because of it. Don't be deceived, this is not our Zelda! Eh, whatever the fuck you said. <laughs> the enemy's coming this way! And what's gonna be happening next? Oh, Impa's covering Darun. Alright. Not that it matters. I'm my own freaking army right here. I'll go support our allies. You take care of the floodgates. Like freaking everything else. I I do everything. Who am I kidding? What the hell? Anyway, what you want to do is before Rudo manages to make her way to this keep right here, just capture it to save you save yourself and everyone else around you some time. Like this. Trust me, it'll save you a lot of time if you capture this before Rudo gets here, because then she gets there when it's still like captured by the enemy then she's gonna point out oh we gotta capture this base and then the game's gonna tell you capture the base 
and then when you've already captured it afterwards, it's just like, okay, you're just wasting my time here. And we're done with that. And at this point, I already have 500 KOs. This is freaking... <laughs> this is something, I gotta say. Not half bad. I just got 500 KOs. How many have you gotten, Rudo? I bet you you barely even gotten a dozen. Considering the way the AI... <laughs> Considering the way the AI works right now, it's just like, I wouldn't be surprised if you barely have a dozen mooks killed. Well, maybe 50. Then I, then if that were the case, then I definitely would have 10 times your amount. So, uh, you can't go bitching, Rudo. Anyway, she reached the lakeside keep. And because of that, the mission is successful. And we open the floodgates. And now the water temple is accessible. Well, most of it anyway. So the water temple's entrance has been revealed. And let's just go kill some more guys, I guess. The floodgates are open. Now we should be able to enter the water temple. Great! Why don't we pour into the water temple? Get it? Pour? Ha! Water puns. God freaking damn it. Uh, well... Speaking of that freaking joke, I remember, like, I seen this Meverse post of, like, Exit Shadow, aka Ted from Brain Scratch commentaries. Like, he pointed out that joke, and he's just like, Darunia is now officially my most favorite character in this game. So, just like, God damn it, Ted, you with your puns. Anyway, Rudo's temporarily retreated to search for the Lens of Truth, and she's gonna find it pretty damn soon, too. I'll go underwater and find the Lens of Truth. We can meet back up later. Hey, we're just gonna kick you guys' asses. And, God damn it. I'm going back into my Arkham Asylum habit of yawning whenever I'm doing post-commentary. Maybe, maybe I just can't do post-commentary. Which is why I rarely freaking do it, you know, except for Arkham Asylum. But anyway. All we have to do is kick these uh, big post asses, collect the materials, kill some mooks in mass. Like such. I was just one away. Just one! Anyway, she appeared at the central hall. Getting in was easy. I just need to find just need to find the lens of truth itself. Honestly, these big poses are nothing. They ain't shit. Here it is, the lens of truth. This is exactly what we need. And down she goes. Or in she's boxed in or whatever. And it's strategy. <laughs> whatever, man. Well, of course, I feared they were planning to trap me in here, and they have. You know, if you had that fear, why didn't you tell us and we probably could have done a little something? I don't know. Go and open the floodgates inside the temple. Doing that should free me. I don't know how opening the floodgates will make it so you could... I don't know. Well, I'll just take your word for it. You have to cut... You have to seek out all the keeps with floodgates, which is understand. I'll search the east side of the temple. You search the west. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm going the wrong way here. Because you have to capture one of the keeps inside this water temple in order to get uh, Sheik's heart container. Or not, container. She has a piece of heart in this level. And you have to capture one of the keeps in order to cap in order to grab it. But unfortunately, we don't have access to that keep just yet. So I'm just going to have to capture one of the floodgate keeps. And then from there, I can get access to that one keep I need. And there's summoners. So yeah, you also want to deal with the summoners as soon as you can. Because they will summon mooks to for you to kick ass on in mass so yeah deal with them but there is also a big pose here just to freaking mess with you just because the way they teleport away and then they shoot out magic attacks and whatnot honestly the big pose are pretty annoying but it's until they actually try to attack you is when they screw themselves over like such <laughs> a little bit of overkill with the bombs but whatever so now we just gotta capture this room because there's a floodgate in here. Or floodgate switch. Whatever. And of course that was just enough because <laughs> screw everything! And we got the Gold Skulltola to show up. We're barely like halfway through this level and we already have like the Gold Skulltola showing up already. And now the floodgates are open from the southeast room. And we have access to that keep, but I'm gonna go for that gold school toilet first because considering they are limited time Really want to do that now water isn't completely drained yet open the other floodgate hurry First I kind of want to do some collecting Rudo You can wait trust me also you're gonna need the boomerang for this 
and we, yeah, a thousand enemies defeated. Pretty good. I'd even go so far as to say that was great. <laughs> I don't know why I gave her that voice. <laughs> I wanted to give her the Tony Ta Tony the Tiger voice, but I was just like, nah, nah, that's not funny. That's not funny at all. Anyway, Gold Skull it behind those vines. You just need to use the boomerang. As simple as that. Pretty freaking simple in my book. Hmm, maybe it's because I record... I'm recording this post-commentary pretty late. I mean, I've had this video recorded since yesterday. Yesterday being November 10th. I'm recording this on November 11th. Oh, wait, no, now Oh, wait, it's past midnight. Never mind. I've had this recorded since November 9th. And I'm recording this on at 12.30 at night on November 11th. Or December 11th. Did I say... Did I say... Yeah. Did I say November... I'm already starting to stutter again. You know what, fuck it, I'm not gonna do it over again. Well, I've at least gone through half of this video without stuttering. I can be okay with the last half of the video being stuttering, I don't even care. But anyway, I'm just gonna defeat whatever big pose I come across because they do have a chance of dropping like their silver web or their silver <laughs> their silver drop. Which I kinda want in order to, uh, to like expand upon my freaking uh, party members, pretty much. Anyway, this is the room you want to be capturing for the piece of heart. And I'm all like, wait a minute, what am I doing? I can kill them all! Though they're not that many. Honestly, I have never gotten below 30 KOs with this freaking special attack of hers. Why am I yawning? God damn it! It's Arkham Asylum all over again, guys! I apologize! I didn't think this fight would be so tough. Maybe it's because I don't. Know. I need I need me some pexy. I need it bad, sir. Anyway, once you capture the East Room as Sheik, then you get her piece of heart in this chest. And yes, and I am pretty damn sure this is the piece of heart because I recorded this ahead of time. I just had to re-record it because of stuttering. <laughs> Not that it's helping right now. I would say about 10% of this video is stuttering, unlike the last time, unlike when I recorded this, when it was about 95% stuttering, so... I would say this is a lot the better option for me, because I really don't want to put up a video where I just do absolutely nothing but stutter. I'd rather be yawning like this! <laughs> God damn it, yawning! Note to self, co -com or post commentate and an earlier point in the day. Never post, never post commentate before you're about to go to freaking bed. God damn it. Did I learn my lesson with Arkham Asylum? Apparently not. But anyway, I'm just gonna be seeking out those summoners so that way they could stop bringing up these freaking mooks. And I uh, kind of fucked up right here because I could have easily taken out all of those guys with one special attack. That would have been a mo that would have been amazing. So amazing. And what am I going with here? Well, I already defeated one of the summoners. At this point, I'm just trying to capture... Well, not capture the uh, freaking... What are those things again? Oh, the... Forgot their names. Whatever. Those little tiny spots where enemies can spawn. I was trying to take those. But anyway, here we are at the other floodgate switch. And all the, honestly, they're just both at the very end of the water temple, like at the most southernmost keep. So yeah, there's that to consider. At least they don't make it like a maze of sorts where you have to figure out just like where the fuck is everything at. You know, just like the actual water temple from Ocarina of Time. I mean, I like the water temple's aesthetics. I just, well, like a lot of people, people, I. I didn't really like how it was designed. Like, puzzle-wise, I mean. And overkill right there, but screw it. So now we gotta go help Rudo. And defeat the gatekeeper and rendezvous with Ruto. And I'm just gonna do a little overkill, cuz fuck everything! Fuck everything! Fuck everything! Fuck everything! I will now call that the fuck everything power up. Because honestly, you could just say fuck everything and throw the bomb at every anything and kill it. So yeah. 
Anyway, getting tired. I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. No. J just, okay, Rudo, where you, why the fuck are you leaving? Whatever, man. And victory condi conditions have changed. And all we have to do now is defeat Zelda. Also, I'm going to make this a point right now. Uh, and this area right here is where you have to be getting the hard container for the other player. And it's going to be Darunia that you have to play as in order to find this hard container. So, yeah. All you have to do is search this part right here. I'm letting you know now. I am going to show it at the end of the video. Just letting you know. Just blow up in this rock. And yes, that's all you have to do. Where those rupees are at, the hard container is going to be. So, yes. And honestly, I think at this point, I'm just going to be going around collecting materials and such. I mean, we've made some damn good progress. We've already finished most of the level in like less than 16 minutes, so screw it. You're going to waste your guys' time by going around collecting freaking materials. Because why the fuck not? I don't know. Doop 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 materials. Oh right, they're out pros. That's what I was referring to. Oh right, Impa's getting killed. I mean, she's not required in order to make sure that you have to like complete the mission with. That's only for Darunia and uh Bruto, so I don't know why I even bother going over here. Maybe I'm just trying to show off to Impa. Like, see, look what I can do. You wish you can do this. <laughs> and I'm out. I can just imagine him, but just like, Sheik, what the f- I'm out. <laughs> anyway, there's more materials over here. I want to collect as many of these as I freaking can. Trust me, do not underestimate the materials in this game. They definitely help out. Anyway, there's that. Because of the Lens of Truth, we managed to get a hidden passageway accessed. What happened? The wall disappeared, and then a passage opened up. A passage to Princess Zelda herself. I have no idea how you broke my spell. But no matter, you leave me no recourse. Also, it turns out I've been using the Focus Spirit wrong, because you have to get enough KOs in order to get the bonuses. So yeah, I've just been using it on bosses, like a dumbass, not racking up any KOs because of it. But yeah, look at that, I managed to get more ex rupees and more experience because of this, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's when I kill more moves under the influence of Focus Spirit, but I was trying to kill Zelda with it like a dumbass. Guess I still don't have the hang of focus spirit. <laughs> Insolent wretch! You dare challenge me, the princess of the royal family of Hyrule? Oh, I'll do it while yawning. Silence, imposter! Show your real face! And <laughs> look, check this out. I'm just flinging the. Cr I'm just flinging Zelda all over the place. I, I mean, I'm flinging Zelda. Quote marks all over the place. Also, I, don't, I never really show off most of these freaking, uh, like, musical spells that Sheik has to, at her disposal. I really should be doing that, but I think I've at least shown off the water one and the shadow one that I just showed off right now. Uh, I think I may have shown off the lightning uh, one. Like, with the water one, it just pretty much gives you a little bit of super armor. The lightning one just makes it so enemies around you get flung around a lot more easily. And the shadow one, like gathers all the enemies in one spot so you can just take them all out in one good attack. Like, gather them all up and then you kick all their asses. And look at this, I didn't even try to kill those mooks and I still got over 30 KOs with that freaking special attack. It's amazing. Anyway, Zelda's out. How did you see through my disguise? You can't be Zelda. Because... I'm Zelda. Princess, you're alive! Impa, forgive me for not telling you. 
You're Zelda. You're Zelda. She's Zelda. I'm Zelda! Are there any more Zeldas that I should know about? Meow. I don't know. God damn it, Ouija! Let us close this gate together. And that's it for this level. Honestly, I thought Impa would have been more into the whole What the fuck? You were Sheik the whole time? What the hell's wrong with you? And all they do is just like, okay, we're done here. Fuck it. <laughs> and Big Poe's lantern right there. Big Poe necklaces. Lizalfo scales, monster teeth, and yeah, well, that's pretty good materials for my in my book. And now we can battle as Zelda herself. And she has the polished rapier. You just use the strong attack button to gather the power of light and strike with more devastating strength than using a com when using a combo attack. Pretty much just supercharges your attack, I suppose. Anyway, from here on out, it is the epilogue chapters and much more. That wasn't it for this game, guys. So, uh, but these next few freaking uh, scenarios, they're gonna limit you to using only Link. And as you guys can see, the heart containers and heart pieces are not Link. And we're limited to Link for the first time through. I mean, after we finish them, we will be able to play as the other characters. But for now, whenever we're limited Link, I'm not going to show off what the collectibles, where the collectibles are at, except for the Gold Skull Tolas, of course, because I could still collect those with anyone. But uh, until then, I'm going to save collecting those heart containers and pieces until after we're done being limited with Link. That's still going to be a little while, though. For now, though, I think I'm going to be going back here to Lake Helia or Lake Hylia, and collect Darunia's heart container. So, uh, next time on Let's Play Hyrule Warriors, we're going to be going to the Temple of the Sacred Sword, Temple of the Sacred Sword, as Link. So, see you guys then.